The Gallipoli campaign emerged as a critical theater of conflict, strategic crossroads, and geopolitical flashpoint that held significant implications for the warring powers involved in the conflict, serving as a linchpin in the broader military objectives, operational plans, and tactical considerations that shaped the course of the war in the eastern Mediterranean. Allied Strategy and Ottoman Defense the Allied forces, led by British and French commanders, devised a daring plan to launch a series of amphibious landings at Anzac Cove and Suvla Bay, aiming to secure a decisive breakthrough, divert Ottoman forces, and open a path to the Russian Empire. In response, the Ottoman defenders, under the command of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, implemented a formidable defense, fortified their positions, and prepared to repel the impending assault with steadfast determination and unwavering resolve. The landing at Anzac Cove and Suvla Bay, Strategy, Tactics and Challenges Initial Engagements and Tactical Maneuvers the landing at Anzac Cove and Suvla Bay commenced with fierce combat, relentless artillery barrages, and dynamic maneuvering that tested the limits of military strategy, tactical innovation, and the human capacity for endurance, sacrifice, and resilience in the face of formidable challenges and relentless adversity. Allied Forces and Ottoman Defense the Allied forces, comprised primarily of Australian and New Zealand Army Corps ANZAC troops, demonstrated unparalleled courage, determination and resilience as they confronted formidable Ottoman defenses, overcame daunting challenges, and achieved significant tactical success in the face of formidable odds, reflecting their unwavering commitment to the Allied cause and their relentless pursuit of victory, justice and peace in a complex and interconnected world. Legacy the landing at Anzac Cove and Suvla Bay in military history. Military significance and historical impact. The landing at Anzac Cove and Suvla Bay had far-reaching military significance and historical impact that transcended the immediate context of World War I, shaping the course of the Gallipoli campaign, influencing the trajectory of the war, and contributing to the eventual outcome of the conflict that would reshape the geopolitical landscape of the 20th century. Commemoration, Remembrance and Historical Reflections The enduring legacy of the landing at Anzac Cove and Suvla Bay is commemorated, honored, and remembered through various forms of cultural expression, educational initiatives, and public commemorations that seek to preserve its memory, honor its significance, and inspire future generations to engage with its profound themes, complex dynamics, and enduring lessons in the relentless pursuit of understanding, remembrance, and reconciliation in a complex and interconnected world. Conclusion, the landing at Anzac Cove and Suvla Bay in the annals of World War I. The landing at Anzac Cove and Suvla Bay stands as a poignant reminder of the profound human experience of World War I, offering a compelling testament to the enduring human capacity for resilience, sacrifice, and the relentless pursuit of freedom, justice, and peace in the face of unimaginable adversity, existential uncertainty, and the relentless pursuit of power and domination that have shaped the course of human history, transformed geopolitical landscapes, and influenced the future trajectory of nations, regions, and the world at large. Through its profound implications, strategic imperatives, and enduring legacy, the landing at Anzac Cove and Suvla Bay invites us to confront, reflect upon, and engage with the profound complexities, contradictions, and enduring legacies of war, trauma, and the relentless pursuit of understanding, remembrance, and reconciliation in the relentless quest for peace, justice, and the fulfillment of the human spirit in a complex and interconnected world.